Welcome to the Dr. Wyatt Show podcast where developing a long-lasting, happy relationship is the status symbol to achieve. And following my six mirror steps is a path to help get you there. I'm your host, Dr. Wyatt Fisher, a licensed psychologist specializing in marriage counseling. Remember, you can contact me on the Dr. Wyatt Show Monday through Thursday from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time with your marriage questions. You can call 720-307-7347. If you don't reach me, leave a voicemail and I'll respond back to your question on the next Dr. Wyatt Show podcast. Today I'm going to talk about five things to do if you feel like you hate your wife. Now, hate's a strong word, and that may be an overstatement. But if you're a man with a high libido and then you're in a sexless marriage, often that can lead to really negative feelings. For men with high libidos, sexual contact is often the most profound way for them to feel loved, for them to feel close, for them to feel wanted, for them to feel fulfilled. And so if a man with a high libido is in a sexless marriage or a marriage with very rare sexual contact, it can hurt their feelings, it can make them feel hopeless, it can make them feel angry, and it can even lead to despair. And I can relate to this because my marriage has gone through a lot of challenges on the sexual arena. My wife had sexual trauma growing up. And when we got married, all of that sexual trauma came out and it made her avoid all sexual contact. No matter what I said or did, she avoided all sexual contact and I didn't respond well. I felt rejected, I felt hurt, I responded with anger, with impatience, and I even started feeling despair in our marriage. So I know firsthand what it feels like to be in that position. So I'm gonna go through five things to do if that's your position. If you're listening to this, and you're a husband, and you're high libido, and you're in a sexless marriage, or a marriage with very rare sexual contact, consider these five steps. Number one, you have to work through resentments. Your wife may have resentments toward you, and those resentments might be one of the reasons she's not open to sexual contact. Maybe she has resentment on your parenting style. Maybe she has resentment on how you manage money. Maybe she has resentment on the lack of sharing power in your marriage. Who knows? You have to talk to her about this. Ask her, do you have areas of resentment toward me? If she says yes, go to my website and look for the reunite tool. The Reunite tool is a method to help couples work through resentments. You gotta work through them because those create barriers in her heart and her body is unable to follow. The second thing to consider is provide affection. Most women need and want affection. Don't just touch her when you want sexual contact. Touch her way over and beyond those moments. Give her lots of affection and ask her How do you want affection? What's your favorite type of affection? Do you like your hair stroked? Your neck lightly tickled? Do you like it when I kiss you? Do you like a a shoulder rub? Do you want me to stroke your arm? Do you want a foot massage? Ask her what kind of affection she likes and then provide it on a regular basis. That might warm her up to being more open to sexual contact. The third thing to consider is provide compliments. How much do you build up your wife? How much do you affirm her? How much do you point out the strengths in her? Consider her appearance, her traits, and her actions. So what about her appearance do you love? Compliment her on it. What about her traits? Maybe she's really sweet natured. Maybe she has a real servant's heart. Maybe she's excellent as a mother. Compliment her on it. What about her actions? Maybe she just helped you out with something. Compliment her on it. Maybe she just responded to your difficult teenager well. Compliment her on it. Your wife needs to hear affirmations. That will help her feel more positive toward you, which may make her more open to sexual contact. Try to compliment her at least once a day. Fourth, you need to provide closeness, emotional closeness. Most likely, your wife wants to feel emotionally connected with you. I recommend going to my website and looking for the head heart check. Look under marriage tools 
and then look for the head heart check. It will show you how to nurture emotional closeness. So once a day, you go to your wife and you say, what's been on your head and heart? The head is the agenda, everything she did. The heart is everything she felt throughout the day and why. And then you share the same thing. You share what's been on your head and you share what's been on your heart. Were you mad? Were you sad? Were you glad? Did you have fear? It's gonna take you time probably to think through what were you feeling through the day and why. So prep, spend some time prepping on those emotional things to consolidate them so that you can share them during the head heart check because emotional closeness is not just listening to your wife vent. It's also you sharing. That's gonna help her feel closer to you. During the sharing time, don't bring up anything negative you feel about each other, only use the reunite tool for that and no solutions are allowed. When your wife is venting, you're not allowed to fix it. You can't tell her what to do. All you can do is provide empathy, such as, that sucks. No wonder you feel that way. It makes sense you would feel that. Those are empathy statements. Your wife wants to hear that. That will make her feel like you have her back. When she feels close emotionally, that will open her up physically. The fifth thing to consider is become a sensitive lover. Are you a sensitive lover? What does that mean? It means you're constantly checking in with your wife. When you're having sexual contact, what does she want more of? What does she want less of? What does she like? What does she not like? Focus on her, focus on her receiving pleasure, focus on her having a good experience, not focusing on you. Most guys approach sexual contact with what's gonna feel good to them. Instead, focus primarily on what's gonna be good for her because if she's enjoying herself, you're gonna enjoy yourself and she's gonna become more open to sexual contact because she'll start associating it with you being a sensitive lover. So, if you're in a sexless marriage, it's hurting your feelings, it's making you feel hopeless, it's making you feel angry, you may even have some hatred, consider those five things. Number one, work through resentments. Number two, provide affection. Number three, provide compliments. Number four, provide closeness. And number five, become a sensitive lover. If you need help, with any of these steps. Go to my website, look for a relationship coach, and consider working with one of my relationship coaches. They are trained in all of these tools. They can help you and your wife develop a more successful relationship. Thank you for listening to the Dr. Wyatt Show podcast. If you enjoyed the show today, be sure to click the five stars and leave a review. If this podcast has made a positive impact on your marriage, be sure to send me an email, info at drwyattfisher.com, and I would love to have you on the podcast so other people can hear your story and be inspired by your journey. Remember, your marriage is alive, so if you nurture it and care for it, it can heal and grow. You can fall back in love, but if you neglect your marriage and you, you deprive it, it will wilt and die. The choice is up to you. Take care.